Welcome back to the Backwards Hat CMO Pod. On today's pod, we are going to talk about sales and marketing alignment. Now, I can tell you when I made my way to the Silicon Valley some 20 plus years ago, I can tell you the very idea of sales and marketing alignment. While we talked about it, we didn't actually pull it off in any real significant way. Now, as we all know, over the years, a lot has changed from a technology standpoint. I mean, if you think about trade shows some 20 years ago, you would go to a trade show, you would walk around that trade show, you'd pick up some flyers and some data sheets and you'd bring it back to the office. And then you might actually have a discussion with some people on your team about whether or not you needed that technology. Now, that is an archaic method of actually generating leads today. Yes, trade shows and events still exist and they still have their place in the marketplace. But when you really think about it, like you can find out any information you need to about a particular company and or service pretty easily. It's basically at your fingertips now and it has been for quite some time. So in the world of sales and marketing alignment, there have been tremendous leaps forward in how sales and marketing teams actually work together over the past 20 years. And specifically, if we really take a hard look at the last five to 10 years, you can see that the best run companies have total sales and marketing alignment. And that doesn't mean that there's a VP of sales and marketing. It just means that the marketing organization and the sales organization work really closely together. And when a sales and marketing organization work really closely together, we can actually get to the true point that we're all ultimately searching for, which is attribution. We can get to the point where we're able to predict what things are actually going to cost from an actual lead generation standpoint. And I'm not just talking about MQLs actually talking about actual QSLs that actually turn into real deals. It is amazing to me uh, how often I still see some of the old emphasis actually being put on uh, SQLs or just MQLs for that matter. And when you really think about what actually makes a company grow, it tends to be the ability to actually generate more leads for less and be able to do it more efficiently across your entire organization. Now, one of the misnomers about marketing budgets, and trust me, I can tell you this, there are a lot of misnomers about marketing budgets, but one of the key misnomers about marketing budgets is that the marketing budget is only there for top of funnel. And the reality is, A marketing budget actually provides so much more air cover with current customers as well as trying to go out and get new customers. So it becomes very important that the marketing budget gets siloed and broken up into numerous pieces so that we can actually understand what is actually going to generate that top line growth. Now, You might look at an entire marketing budget and say, okay, this company is spending $10 million on marketing and you uh, drop in all of the sales and SDRs and the marketing organization and you end up with like a $20 million GTM spend. But the reality of that might actually be that half of your marketing spend is being dedicated to customer success being dedicated to uh, current customers. It's being dedicated to other things outside of just top of funnel. Now, a really good CMO and a really good CRO are certainly going to work together really closely to ensure that the company is growing at the rate that the company wants to grow at. I often say, as long as there's enough TAM, there's always a way. Now, assuming you have enough TAM, 
might mean though that you actually have to spend more than you thought you needed to spend to actually bring in that new revenue to your company. Everything is ultimately situational and you just have to sort of figure out what is the current situation that your company is in. It always comes down to product market fit and just making sure you have enough TAM in place. Now, in terms of the uh, age old question of the sales and marketing organizations not getting along, well, that has been completely put to rest, or at least it has uh, with the companies I've worked with over the past 10 years. There seems to be significantly more alignment between sales and marketing. And the reason for that is everybody understands exactly what the end goal is. And when everybody actually understands what that end goal is, that point is when you actually have an organization that can actually grow rapidly. All right, a super short uh, backwards hat CMO pod today, but I just wanted to get that out. Listen, I really appreciate everybody for tuning into uh, this episode of the Backwards Hat CMO pod. For the Backwards Hat CMO, I am Dave DeBaugh wishing you all a tremendous rest of your business week.